Hey guys, my name's Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you care too, make sure you subscribe. Anyways, so for today's video, I thought it would be fun to do a shoe, oh God, shoe review. So the shoe that I'm gonna review today is the Telfar Black Leather Riding Boot. Although I'm not sure it's called the Riding Boot, but I like to call it a Riding Boot because it looks like a Riding Boot with a Vibram sole. So you get that uh, thick, chunky bottom and a uh, embossed Telfar logo with bull handles. <laughs> oh yeah, side note, I just got my ears pierced. But they're kind of gross looking, so if you get grossed out easily, don't look at them too closely. Just disclaimer. Just wanted to throw that in there. So I've had this boot for a while, um, and it's been out for quite a while. But I did see in Telfar's last presentation runway, the most recent one anyways, he showed this boot actually coming out in quite a few different colors. In the presentation, I saw it in like red, yellow. Um, I know they came up with brown very recently and that already went on sale, but I thought I would put out a review of it in case anyone who's looking into some of those new colors was curious, because uh, it's a pretty, pretty decent investment of a shoe, especially if this is one of your first like luxury designer shoes, it's a pretty penny. So I thought I would give my uh, input. So hopefully this helps. So in my bag reviews, I normally talk about five different topics and that's design, durability, comfort, investment value, and impact, like visual impact. This is a shoe and I like to think of any review I'm giving is for something that we use. So if we're talking about shoes, investment value is kind of a non-starter. So I'm gonna cut that from this one, but we still have like a lot of fun categories to cover. So let's get started. Design. So, like I said really awkwardly earlier on, this is a riding boot, or at least that's the shape of it, even if the name doesn't say it is. When you first get it, it is a very stiff leather, and then it starts to soften over time, um, which is good or bad depending on who you ask. Um, I personally do like the look of it, it getting more slouchy. Um, I currently have some stuffing in it so that it holds the shape, and I just do that in general so that it doesn't permanently wrinkle. And then you can see it has a rounded toe, and then there's a reinforcement on the heel. I just started like at some random point, but we'll keep going. <laughs> so then if you go up from there, you can see that there is the embossed, kind of like, it's almost like puffy logo. So this is the regular logo, and of course, you know, they want to keep it symmetrical, so the logo backwards. But it has this really fun, like, the circular aspect of it, and then the little cutoff at the top, which is, like, the, the boot straps or whatever. <laughs> that is pretty stiff, and it keeps its shape pretty nicely. And then going to the bottom of the shoe, I don't know why, but I don't really like showing bottoms of shoes on camera, because I think it's gross, but whatever. So... <laughs> It's a Vibram sole, so it's like supposed to be like heavy duty, non-slick, slow wearing, and I would have to say all of those things would be true. And you can see there's the logo for it, and then there's a little Telfar triangle logo, which makes me think equestrian for some reason. I have no idea if that's like a real thing, but anyway. <laughs> it has these chunky teeth going all the way around the edge, and then these little like Flurs in the center, and uh, yeah, if you like take away like the logo aspect of it, it is a pretty basic shoe. But then having this giant logo with the pull handles, I think makes it more of a statement and in between like minimalist and maximalist feel to it. If you love logos or if you love something more minimal, like I think it really does work especially because it's kind of tone on tone. And then even if you get it in one of the colors, like the yellow, red, brown, whatever, it still is going to be tone on tone. So it isn't the loudest, but it still has, for me personally, I think it has a lot more to say than some of these other more like plain boots that you might see from other designers. And honestly, it's like, I don't know, it's pretty. <laughs> but in all seriousness, when we talk about the design, I think I would honestly give it a I'll give it a nine. I think it, this could work for like a lot of different styles, which I think is really cool too.
All right. I don't know what I'm doing. Durability. I may have mentioned before that this leather does get a little bit slouchy, but it does start out as a more stiff leather. I think because it is more stiff when it starts out, it I think it might be box calfskin, which I just learned about. It just basically means it's a like a high quality, kind of like a standard for shoes, and it seems like it because it is more stiff. But because of the weight of it, um, this like logo part, it does slouch and it. I think it is just like a kind of like a simple construction from here to here. As far as the durability, like sure, it's shoes, so it's gonna show some wear, but like I've worn these quite a lot and I actually wear them like, <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to, but I wear it when it's like raining and stuff. They're not my rain boots. I have other shoes that are like, act more like rain boots. Of course there's like little nicks here and there and like scuffs and scratches, but like uh, for me personally, I, maybe I'm not the right person to ask, but I think that the more wear that you see on the shoes, as long as they're still usable, I think it adds to the character. I think it adds your personality to it. it. It shows that it's something that's been loved, especially when it's like a complete leather item like this. Maybe if it was a sneaker or something where things have started fraying, mm, but because this is like all leather, you're really just adding to the character of it. And I think that's beautiful. And then just talking about the uh, soles, it is, like I said, it's Vibram. I've worn these shoes a lot and I don't really see too, too much wear. I do see like the last like, edge of it is a little oh yeah by the way i've cleaned these <laughs> but i see like the last little like edge of it is like starting to go down but i've worn these a lot and i walk a, a ton whenever i wear these so for me honestly if we're talking about durability we want to make sure that the shoes don't fall apart right like there's a reinforcement on the heel a reinforcement all along this back seam and then the way that this front seam is sewn you can tell it's that kind where it's like double or triple stitch where they stitch it together and then stitch each of the sides. God, I honestly, like, I think I'm going to give these a 10 because I can picture myself wearing these for pretty much the rest of my life. Okay, let's talk about comfort. I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, I maybe like hinted at it before, but like when I wear these, I can walk a crap ton and these are some of the most comfortable shoes I have right now. Of course, like, I wouldn't wear it, these during summer, probably. Although I'm like, could see a look with it. Okay, I take that back. I would wear these during summer. I'm a liar. So I think the great thing about these is that they're roomy, but not in the sense that they like feel loose. Like these are pretty true to size, um, but you still have enough space to wear like big, like plush socks in these. And I think that's one of the nicest things, especially like when I wore these through some of like the coldest months of winter, I would just like throw these on. I would also have like, like thick fluffy socks on underneath and like my feet wouldn't get cold. Even like up to here wouldn't get cold. And the insole, I don't know if it's because the Vibram like absorbs shock or something like that. Cause it doesn't, I don't think it has like the most cushiony insole, but it is, still one of my most comfortable shoes that I find myself being able to wear for hours and hours. Like I can wear these a whole day and not even think about wanting to like take them off, which I even do with some sneakers, you know? So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm biased because I just like, well, I guess I should be biased because I actually wear these, but I think when it comes to comfort, these, again, they're going to be a 10. And then for the last category, we have visual impact. Whoa, I don't know. So it's kind of funny. If you've watched the Telfar small shopping bag review I did, I'll link in the corner. And for impact, like visual impact, I spoke about it not having the best score because not very many people know the brand Telfar here. And I would say it still definitely applies. People's awareness of Telfar, where I am, isn't as great as it would be in the US. Like say if I was in America, then absolutely I think the impact of these would be far greater. People I work with when I wear these to work, because yes, I wear these to work, people have 
you know, made comments about loving my boots, even without knowing the brand, knowing the logo, which I think is a testament in and of itself. But still, it's, like I said, it is a little bit minimal. It, the loudest part is the logo. And if you don't know the logo, there's not like too much to it. Yeah, I guess I, I don't know. I don't want to give it too low a score because I love it so much, but it truthfully, it doesn't draw that much attention here, which is also fine. Like I said, like attention has a time and a place and it's not going to be all the time that you want attention, right? So I guess the score I'll give for this is, uh, I'll give it a seven. Adding all of those categories together, this gives us a 36 out of 40. Or, through the magic of mathematics and calculators, this is a 90, pretty much like a, it's a low A, which I think is fair for this. I think, like I said, if I was in America, it would get a better score for sure, but this is like almost a perfect shoe if you're just talking about like comfort, durability, and if it's your style, for sure, I would say like, get this. And especially like, if you like red or yellow or brown or any of the colors that Telfar showed the shoe coming out in, get it because it is honestly like, oh my god, I don't know, it's it's one of my favorite shoes and like for me to say that about a plain black boot, plain black boot, I think is a testament of how great this boot is. I'm not gonna kiss it because it's a shoe. And like even though I cleaned it, I'm still like gross, but you know. But that is all I have for you today. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind Designer Luxury. Until next time. <laughs> oh God, okay, that was the worst. <laughs>